Hello there, in this video I'm going to show you the new transcribe functionality in Word from Microsoft. So this is Word in the cloud, so if you just go to office.com in your browser on a Mac or a Windows PC and open a Word document you'll see the new transcribe options that are available in Word. Just underneath Dictate, so you may, you may have seen or used Dictate, that's been around for a while and that's the functionality that lets you talk in real time and have your voice converted to text on your computer. It's handy for sh short sentences, maybe one or two sentences or a paragraph. And I'll show you how that works briefly just so you can see that in action. First thing I just need to do is check my settings. Uh, I need to check that my language is set to Australian English. I need to set that default. You can also turn on auto punctuation. I find that really useful. So you'll insert you know, commas, exclamation marks, question marks, etc., rather than you having to say it. Um, and then there's voice commands. Have a look at the Microsoft help for what voice commands are available. So let me just show you this in action. Hello, this is an example of dictate in Microsoft Word. As you can see, as I speak, my voice is converted to text in real time and it is very accurate. I can even ask questions, can't I? Yep, so there you go. Um, quick, easy to use, really handy for, for short dictation. So, what is different between that and transcribe? So transcribe um, really lets you take longer audio recordings is number one and number two is it works with multiple speakers. Now this is a big deal in the voice recognition world so typically in the older style um, voice recognition software that you'd install locally on a computer it would only work with one person's voice. Where the cloud transcription services from people like Amazon and now Microsoft are going is you can send audio with multiple speakers so it could be an interview it could be a meeting and it will do the transcription for you so two options under transcribe you can upload an audio file so that for example is um, maybe something you've recorded on a, a voice recorder or something you recorded in your, on your iPhone um, or you can start recording and record live to your computer so again this could be popping your computer on the middle of a, a meeting room table having two or three people around the record around the the computer and, and listening to that recording so let me just show you an example of both so I'm going to do a live recording to my computer first so you can see that in action and this is me talking directly to my computer I can also pause the recording so maybe my phone rang or I need to go and grab a coffee I can pause what I was doing and then I can I've just come back to my recording after having a quick coffee and here I am talking some more. This is an example of the transcribe functionality in Microsoft Word. So when I've finished I can save and transcribe now. What this does is it sends my locally recorded audio off to the Microsoft Cloud where it converts my voice to text and it will send the text back down to me locally. And here we go. So as you can see it's got speaker one in here so it's recognized my voice throughout the document um, if there's multiple speakers you'll see speaker one speaker two I'm going to show you a better example of that in my recording um, and you can do some proofreading in here before you apply the text to the document let me just play this back so you can hear it action and this is me talking directly to my computer I've just come back to my recording after having a quick coffee and here I am talking some more. This is an example of the transcribe functionality in Microsoft Word. So there you have it, it's really good, it's very accurate and I can add this straight into my Word document and I can do some formatting, whatever I need to do. Um, really, really useful. So that, that's an example of using my local computer to record. Um, but I'm, what I'll do now is I'll show you an example of using a recording. So here we've got the upload audio option. So what, what I've done for this example is I just took a quick snippet of audio from a television infomercial. Um, the reason I took that is because the audio is clear um, and because it contains both a male and a female speaker so you can see the differences between the two. So let me get that loaded for you. So same deal, that recording is now going off to the cloud. It will be converted to text and then it will come back down.
and that's it. So here we can see the audio from my recording has been broken down and now we can see clearly speaker one, speaker two. So the the cloud transcription or the cloud voice to text has recognized that I've got two separate speakers within my audio. So I can then go ahead and change that. So I know that the first speaker is actually a female. Um, if I knew their name, I could put, put their name in there. And then I can apply that change to all speaker ones throughout the document. So if you imagine this document could be like an hour's worth or maybe more of voice to text, rather than going through and having to change each instance of speaker one, it's done it all throughout the document for me. The same, I know that the speaker two is a male speaker, so I can set the male's name in there and apply that throughout the document. So straight away we can see the differences now between who's speaking. So let me just do the same and I'll play back the audio so you can hear it. And your cover can be arranged over the phone right now. Okay, questions. Wouldn't I have to take a medical test and fill out a bunch of forms first? Well, that's the thing, Jamie. You don't have to do any of that with real life insurance. You just have to answer a series of underwriting questions about your health and your lifestyle. That's so easy. So how much protection can you get for your family? So there you have it. So um, Australian accents, um, male and female speakers, and the, um, the, actual, the actual quality of transcription is, is spot on. So there's minimal proofreading that you'd have to do with this. So there you go. That's, um, that's the new transcribe functionality available in Microsoft Word online via office.com. Run it on a Mac, run it on Windows, give it a try and see what you think.